Police in two local communities use deadly force in shootings just hours apart. We were live at 11 from Fall River last night after the first shooting happened. We then learned of another deadly officer involved shooting in Warwick. Both are in the beginning stages of an extensive investigation. Since this involves police officials using lethal force, multiple agencies are involved. 12 News reporter Sheena Lushuto has been in touch with all of them and has the latest on where things stand tonight. We want to start here in Warwick. Police say a man was shot and killed after he ignored commands to drop a weapon. They say he was pointing at officers. Police radio, loud voices going back and forth, and gunshots. That's what a Warwick man says he heard from behind his door Monday night. I didn't expect to hear gunshots around 1030 at night when I was just making dinner. Nathan Calise says he learned Tuesday morning those shots were deadly, killing the man who presumably lived next door. Warwick police say they were called to the Lockwood condominiums on West Shore Road for reports of a man who was allegedly suicidal and armed. Someone called police expressing concern for a woman that was with the armed man. Police were able to get the woman to safety, and the man who has not been identified was also ultimately shot by an officer after he allegedly pointed a rifle at police and advanced toward them. So everything, all bets are off when that weapon is pointing at the police. 12 News law enforcement analyst Stephen O'Donnell says in general, there are more calls to police during the holiday season from before Thanksgiving to the new year. As for what's next in Warwick, O'Donnell says a multi-agency investigation is now underway. The attorney general, the state police and the Warwick police will work on the facts. Meanwhile, in Fall River, However, the Bristol County DA's office is also investigating an officer involved shooting. Authorities say 30 year old Anthony Harden was shot and killed after police went to his apartment on Melville Street following a report of an alleged assault from two days prior. The DA's office says there was a knife at the scene and Harden was involved in a quote altercation with police but wouldn't elaborate. Harden's family wants answers and justice for the killing that they say shouldn't have happened. My brother was a beautiful human being. Like you can see, he, he was an artist, he was a writer, he was a free thinker, he was a beautiful soul. Now in both cases, in Fall River and in Warwick, police have not identified the names of the officers involved. We are expecting to learn more information about the Warwick case on Wednesday. Reporting in Warwick, I'm Sheena Lushuto, 12 News. Sheena, thank you. And if you or someone you know needs help, you'll find a list of suicide prevention resources on our website right now. Those resources include phone numbers to the Samaritans of Rhode Island and the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. You can find it all at WPRI.com.